I think actually the best place to start is the basics of quantum computing versus accelerated or supercomputing. Because if you explain why that 13,000x performance is notable in simple terms, it gives some measure of why it's a piece of news this week. Absolutely. Today's computers, classical computers, they use bits, right? Zeros and ones. They use that to calculate. It's useful for a number of different problems across the world. However, quantum computing is different, it uses a combination of zeros and ones at the same time. That enables access to different types of problems like the quantum echoes algorithm we announced this week. You have brought Willow with you. You've put it in an impenetrable, safe housing and casing. There it is on the desk in front of me. I read a lot of academic papers this week and many point out that you didn't use a scalable or fault tolerant chip for this demo. And so the argument follows that it would be a big challenge for you to commercialize or scale out that, that technology. Is that a fair concern from, from the academic community? That is the goal of quantum computing, to get to fault-tolerant quantum computing. Nobody is there yet. It is a long journey, but it is very exciting. We've been excited last December to announce for the first time that error correction can work. We demonstrated that with our Willow chip, and we continue on this journey, pushing the number of qubits and also bringing the errors way down. And it's the timing now, Karina. What is it, five years till we get something that actually will show quantum computing being really applicable and useful in the areas of science, in the area of medicine. Why that timeline in particular? Yeah, we are optimistic that we'll see real world applications that are only possible on quantum computers uh, in the next five years. Uh, you know, this breakthrough that we announced this week is a great milestone towards that path. We showed that quantum echoes, this algorithm, is not only 13,000 times faster on a quantum chip, but it, that it can be used to uh, simulate and calculate the exact structure of a molecule. So we think this is an important step on the path. Someone on your team won the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physics, was among the winners. You have Hertmut leading the charge. We have real stellar well talent but also a lot of investment what did you make of the news the flow that maybe the u.s government is there to support other smaller quantum players here in the united states is that important yeah we are really excited and pleased to see all of the investment the support the excitement about quantum computing across the board uh, the u.s government has been a strong supporter and partner in this for the last many years and um, we're very excited about those investments and continued partnership across the ecosystem